Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. Our team, our B team is um, a little bit tired, not massively so. We've got an unexplored site here and we've got a, a couple of places where we can do some trading. Uh, we need more materials, so I think we're going to go up here, uh, trade some food across for materials, then maybe come down to one of these and trade some, some tech and then go to the unexplored site. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that we want to do. We want to check out the Antediluvian Ruins, we want to check out the Matic. Uh, we want to focus on the uh, the actual mission missions, which are miles... Well, this one's not miles away. It's certainly reachable. Um, but there's, there's so many things that we want to do. Uh, so we're going to start off by just popping up here and doing a bit of trading. This does... Uh, by visiting these havens we haven't seen before, it will potentially open up new sites that we haven't seen so, food for materials. Yes, restocking. That's what we're all about. Uh, there's no point in us going to this one other than just for the potential of another site. Uh, our other team over the other side of the world um, is doing Treasures of the Earth. We call it R-E-M-E, -E, as in Reem. Get your minds out the gutter, you slobs. It means digging a hole. Proper names, Rare Earth Mineral Extraction, Corporation Site Alpha, but who has the time to say all that, eh? Jacqueline Wissop, known to his people as Jack, is unfazed by the apocalypse. He's had two careers, one in the military, and the other running a small Australian mining company. This has left him with a practical attitude. If there's a problem, you don't moan about it, you fix it. The current problem his haven is facing is a little bigger, however. We mine and we trade, all right? That's how we survive. Mining's hard work on the best of days. But now we've got Pandoran Colony growing right on top of one of our mines. There's a lot of problems I know how to solve. This one, well, we could use some help. Uh, we're definitely going to accept this. So Jack just nods, there's no need to say any more. People have to help each other in these times. That's... That's not right on top of the Haven. That's so far away from the Haven. That's obscene. Okay, well, it doesn't have a time limit on it, so we can we can effectively ignore it. Uh, I think if we... If we send the A-team up to here, it'll potentially reveal other sites nearby, and then we can maybe come across to this one. It's going to take them a little bit of time to get there. Uh, this did actually reveal another unexplored site. Well, that's handy. We're not going to stray too far to the north, though. That's a very good deal. Uh, so, what I'm thinking is I'm thinking with the Synedrian planes, if I go on diplomacy, we're aligned at the moment. Uh, we're going to keep taking missions for them, uh, so we can sabotage Anu. Anu's not going to like it, of course, but uh, it'll, it'll push up Sinedrin, which means we can steal planes, which means we can field bigger teams. That's the plan. We need two of these uh, wonderful things in order to get two full teams. Uh, sorry, uh, a full team of four. And at the moment, there's one, two... three, four available on the map if we wanted to do that. That's a lot of stealing aircraft. So we might might not go full full ham on it, but uh, I think we'll come down here, we'll trade some more food, we'll come across, do this, and then we'll uh, go across to Sinedrian and uh, and remind them that, you know, we're, we're, we're friends, but friends share. That has worked out really well for us. Um, do, do we want... Do we want to hire a priest? I think we do. I think we do. Uh, we're going to send them back to the main Phoenix Point base. Bombardier is an interesting idea for them. Okay, 
well, we'll send them into this unexplored site and then we'll uh, we'll move on and, and and grab that other other vehicle. Research complete. Hey, the Dante is ready to be built. I did promise that Nat would get a uh, flamethrower, so the ability to make it means we can actually uh, replenish the fuel canisters. You can do a little bit of trading, food across, and then come down here for this. Renegade, exploration site. Our operatives land near a cluster of vehicles. There's a group of refugees here, perhaps 20 or more. Their leader, a woman called Amma Erin, is cautious at first, but greets our team with respect. Are you people with Desire Thompson? He came through here a few days back. Showed up just at the right time to help all these people. Said he'd send someone to repair our vehicles. Uh, we've got plenty of tech, so let's just go ahead and do that. Are you sure he didn't send you, Erin asks. Well, then we just got extra lucky, I suppose. Life is funny sometimes. One moment everything's going wrong, and the next you run into several heroes on the same day. Here, yeah, you can have some of our supplies. Thompson left us more than we need. Uh, 15 tech for 70 food is probably not a brilliant deal, but uh, it's not terrible. The Dante is finished. Let's give that right now to Nat. Okay, so you don't need to be carrying all of this. Uh, you will take off your shotgun. There we go. Now, it's it's only got four ammo capacity, but I don't think we're really going to need more than that on any one mission. Uh, you are going to need more strength, though, if you're going to be carrying all of this. So, let's give you bunch of strength and we're still waiting until we can cross class you into technician ah that'll do for for now energy generator repaired at phoenix aeronautics that's uh this one great containment is still a day and three hours away Hold up. Exploration site. Our operatives are set down outside an abandoned supermarket. There might be some supplies here that we can use. Yeah. Our team found the remains of a camp inside the supermarket warehouse. It looks like people tried to live here for a while. However, there's no one left alive and very little we can use. 30 food and it's probably all Snickers bars. Alright, well, um, I think it's... It's time we say hello. Um, right, so we're going to steal the aircraft. That's a definite thing we're going to do. Uh, they're not going to like us, but they're not going to hate us for it either. So this is fine, and then we'll go on and we'll do another one of the missions against Anu. And the team's pretty, pretty solid for this. Uh, we're going to go up against quite a few infiltrators so really we want to do this as quickly as we can it's a minimum of four turns and then we're going to need to probably go and rest somewhere or maybe one more mission and then go rest Secure access to the aircraft. Well, there it is. Clayton is right up in there. Clayton can probably get almost all the way there in one go. Or Clayton can get in and start blasting. That's another option. I'm here. Uh, if we come across a bit, we're not going to have the angle to Channel open. actually shoot these guys. Get in, Clayton. 
ready to fire. <sighs> Collateral damage. Okay, now if we pull across this way, no, still not gonna have it. Maybe if we go all the way across, we can do a quick aim shot. Just, just take out the first guy. We could try for another collateral damage shot, but I mean that would just be taking the mick for the sake of it. Actually, you can you can jet jump all the way up there. Get in there, Nat. Quite get up on top. Let's move you forwards a tiny bit first. Because with the high ground comes all the advantages of being able to drop artillery down on things. Maximum stealth while still having a jetpack. Okay, so we have a tiny problem up here. And when I say tiny, I mean quite significant. If we dash in, we're not quite going to be able to... I think Kevin is going to get shot. I think that's what's going to happen. You're probably going to shoot across. You're not going to do much damage, but this guy is going to do quite a bit of damage. And that makes me sad me very sad. Okay, try and move forward to keeping to cover as much as possible. And yeah, come to here and we'll do a quick aim on the other one. It might not kill him, but if it does, it just reduces the uh the amount of trouble we have to deal with, or maybe just in his arm. Ugh! Enemy hit. Ugh! Okay, who's next? Let's resolve this. You're gonna also med up your friend? Or just Taking offensive action. Just do a shot. Yeah, sniper elite, our snipers are better than your snipers. Just just let us take just let us take the vehicle. Oh Clayton is just gonna kill you. There there's no no way you're gonna live through this. Okay. Jump down into Let's cover. See. We want to get this activated sooner rather than later. Okay, that's that done. War cry just in case <sighs> to reduce their action points. Receiving loud and clear. Gonna return fire with your arm broken. Ah! And I think that one's gonna go actually with that. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Okay, Nat. With the flamethrower, it takes two. So we can step you down and in and try it out. So spray fire. not going to let us do any free aiming. So just spray fire like that. Ah! Target hit. On my 
my way. Okay, I get the feeling that it can get better as Ready time goes action. on. It's not not amazing at this point in time, but we'll uh, we'll on give it way. some time. In the meantime, Troy can come in and take a pot shot, just to help out. <laughs> We've got our own little sniper elite going on over here. All I need is a clear shot. In the arm. <sighs> eh, that wasn't the arm. Confirming target. Yeah, that was in the torso. Oh no well. Yeah. Nanite intervention requested. And I think we'll finish him off with the pistol. He might just be about to bleed out, actually. No, not quite. <laughs> Two sniper bullets and a pistol. Not really much that chap could have done. Ah! You back up at all, you can't shoot, mate. So you're going to bleed out. Uh, we will ooh, grab that. So, of course, the neural pistol, paralysis, going to be useful when our containment is finished. Uh, I think we're now just waiting to see if anyone else appears. And hoping the building itself doesn't just completely, you know, fall Moving over, burn up, all, all the fun stuff. Grab the grenade. So not, not too many of them had to die. I don't think like we're betraying our allies. Let's just get everyone a bit closer to each other. Here's a new one. And there's another. Not many turns left, but uh, we don't Targeting. want to be shot unnecessarily. Oh, look at that shot. Oh, gotcha. In the torso. Acquiring target. Ooh, just over the top. I honestly did not expect that. Uh, let's bring Matt out okay. over here. You can see that one over there. Let's give Callan a go at it. We might get surpr- Oh god, not like that. It's hard to shoot like this. It's tempting, but I think this is the better choice. Oh, just over the shoulder as well. That's two for two, that is. Okay, we can get right up next to this one by dashing in. I can do it. This is going to completely eliminate this threat. I'm pretty sure that was a kill. Yeah, that was definitely a kill. Standing by. Pretty sure it was a kill. It's like on what what kind of world? Would that not be considered a kill? Uh, if we uh, if we dash closer, we can then quick aim and do a close range sniper shot just to make sure. Oh, I don't miss. If you miss that, there's something seriously wrong with your aim. Okay. Two turns to go. Uh, you know what? Come down and grab this. Just in case we don't get it at the end. And there is something over there action. as well. So 
I'll keep going. Let's go have a look. Ooh, hello. Another s proper sniper rifle. Well, let's actually swap you over. You'll probably not keep that at the end. But, uh... Too little, too late, St. Adrian. We're going to be flying away and you're just going to see us careering over the top of your buildings. And there we go. Bit more experience for the team. Always welcome. Now we're not looking to annoy Sanedrian, so we don't want to be doing that kind of stuff all the time. Yeah, look at this. We got loads of stuff. And most importantly, we got ourselves a hovercraft. So, Helios, um, I'm going to send it back to the main base. You guys... Where do we want to send you next? This has got energy generation, so we could... Well, this is actually a pretty good one for just about everything. They've got energy generation up here, so we could come into this one and do it. Okay, nah, this one will be fine. We're not going to be trading for food. Uh, in terms of the team's stamina, they are tired, so we don't actually want to jump straight in and do that. Let's, let's send them back and rest them up. Uh, we should probably get a medical bay here. We're not injured at the moment, but it'll definitely be useful for the future. Okay, in the meantime, on the other side of the world, uh, the Tiamat 2 has landed at the abandoned haven of Camp Honoria. It looks like the place was evacuated in an orderly fashion. The haven's fields are covered in immense jelly-like growths that seem to feed on small insects. Uh, we're going to study them. Hey, research. Love it. These organisms appear to attract insects by exuding a translucent nectar-like substance. When the insects land on them, they get stuck in a slowly absorbed gelatinous material. DNA analysis suggests that although they share no phenotypical characteristics with flowers, these jelly-like growths are ultimately just highly modified earth plants. Kind of like the Venus flytrap, I guess. So Sinedrian like us for that, and uh, Anu like us for studying it as well, just not as much as if we'd gifted it across. That's pretty handy given uh, our diplomacy has dropped a little bit. Not too not too badly. Uh, I th think we're going to go and get this other ship. Because why have one when you can have two for twice the price? And we can make the hell cannon now. Let's have a look at our research. So we've got an Agile Grenade Launcher on the way and Pandora and Spawnery, but the rest of the stuff is all kind of locked until we capture things. We're not going to be able to capture things for another 22 hours. There's the Hell Cannon. Alright, you guys of resting up for a little bit. In the meantime, really sorry. Really sorry. I mean, they're going to continue liking us even after we do this. But we do kind of need this. So yeah, why have one when you can have two for twice the price? Uh, let's just double check our... Uh, items. Laura. I'll upgrade your sniper rifle. I think that's probably all we're going to end up doing, actually. Uh, 
everyone else is going to be in a good enough position with what we've got. Oh, and of course we're bringing Speeder along. Uh, speed is uh, almost completely repaired, so... Let's send him in. These things are just so impractical. They really are. Okay, well, straight off we can see an enemy speeder. So we're going to have to think about how we deal with that. Can, I can anyone actually online. see it? No. I mean, speeder itself probably can't. In fact, no. No, it's just not really an angle through. Unless it's like all the way that way, which is, which is weird. Uh, you could be healed, but you don't really need healing. How far can Speeder get? Speeder can get all the way over there. Oh, wow, you can almost do this in one turn. No, we can't quite dash in. Can you dash in? You can dash in. Okay. So we dash in. We enter the vehicle. Then Speeder is going to carry us over here. This may be a terrible plan. We're already seeing guys who are going to shoot us. Then we're going to get out of the vehicle. Turn one activation. I mean, I'd love it if you could get back in, but uh, I think you're going to be fine where you are. Right, everyone else. Yes. This person hiding around this corner. How are we going to get them? We could come across somewhere like this and then overwatch with a sniper rifle. No, we can't overwatch with a sniper rifle because that'll take two, not three. Maybe to here. It's not a brilliant Overwatch shot, actually. Not a problem. So let's let's properly get you in here. Got you covered. It's going to be a very particularly weird run. This one. I think it's night time which is also dropping down people's perception. No time to waste. Get over to the tree. Hopefully that'll encourage them to come towards you a little bit. Overwatch shots, here we go. In the torso. Okay, I feel better. <laughs> and then medkit, of course. Hostile tagged. Ow! Ooh. So we have some uh, some definite uh, medical issues to address.
dashing. Find the medkit. Hmm. Practice. Two decent hits. Probably not the most efficient way Let's of doing that. Can do. Certainly one of the more fun ways. Can you see the sniper? No, you can't. But coming across a little bit, you can. So let's kill the sniper. Looking for an angle. Oh, I'll not Missed? kill the sniper. What? Okay, that means we are getting lower in our options. We need to kill this guy. Aiming. Ah, target no, hit. Please. Okay, taking out his arm works, but we're going to do more. Enemy killed. Because that will reduce their morale. Over here. If we dash in, you can get three swings on it, which will kill it. Armor dependent. That's not quite going to do enough, actually. Sure what disabling the hull does to it. I wonder, can they attack each other? But you know what? I need to go like this. like this and then back the other way and then oh that's not working the way I wanted to okay, now you can get in just just temporarily For you, I want to bring you Here just I across go. so you're not directly in the line of fire. I think that'll Including that'll scanners. do for now. Yeah, because these things can't attack each other. Exit. Hit it. Hit it, and then get back in. Uh, now, Speeder can't quite get in a position to do anything there. I'm here. But we can probably dash across and then get a blast I through. Keep on Not through that, we can't. So actually, this is probably a pretty good place. Well, we can come across a little bit further, actually. Repositioning. Oh! Problem. There we go. That works. Okay, let's uh, let's bring everyone in. Moving fast. And hope that they don't send too many reinforcements. Because I really don't want to be right killing back. these guys. We just want their vehicles. Let's go. You just know we're going to put them to a much better use than they would. Ah, another speeder. Well, I mean, it's it's cute, but it's going to be uh, ineffectual. So I'm not even going to waste ammo on it. Oh. 
If there was anything to loot in here. And there was not. Uh, we can get up, take a swing, and then step away a little bit. That's... Uh, Not amazing. Let's let's bring speed around this side actually. Now if it had a proper gun, that would be very different. But it doesn't, so it's not really gonna be able to do much. By the time it reaches anyone, the mission's going to be over. Look at that. Narek makes it to level 7. Okay. New hovercraft. Uh, in fact, what I'm going to do very quickly is we're going to transfer some of these across into the Helios. Because it will travel faster. So speed is going to be coming along on the Tiamat a little bit slower. But everyone else... Everyone else is in the Helios. Let's do your level up. Rage Burst is great, but Rapid Clearance is really where the money is at. Narek is now going to start becoming the most terrifying thing on the battlefield. We have some, some other points we can put in as well. You're going to get Rapid Clearance over here. And sneak attack, so Clayton is also going to be pretty damn scary. Uh, who else? Kevin. Inspire, good choice. Uh, spider drones, why not? And Nat. You're going to get Inspire. We're not going to give you cautious, though. Okay. Well, unfortunately, we are out of time for today. Uh, so thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. We've dropped a little bit of support with Sinedrian, but we will work on getting that back. As always, if you have enjoyed this, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point. See you soon. <laughs>